and we will start uh, opening statements with Tim Walker. Put the sign up. Stop. <laughs> um, I didn't really write an opening statement. I've been doing this for eight years and enjoyed it. I've been working for the city, uh, meeting with a lot of uh, developers lately, trying to get some tax revenue into our city. And uh, between our real life of outside and my job and my company and my wife and my children and grandchildren, uh, it's always busy. So running around for the city has been, it's a lot of work. Uh, regional boards, you have to go to all those things. I've been doing all that stuff too and, and uh, going to the county quite a bit. But um, it's, there's a lot of responsibility with being a councilman and, uh, and a lot of background and my background is completely in business so I understand business. I also was a school teacher so for many years but it was my private school so it was a lot more controlled. I've always been in control. This has been a whole different venue of having other people <clears throat> help make decisions where I'm at the top of the pile of my business. There's five of us at the top of this pile. So a lot of times you have to work together and uh, compromise and work together. And luckily we're all pretty conservative people so it's been pretty easy to do. And It's been a nice uh, eight years so far and looking forward to another four. With that, I don't need any more time. All right. Okay. Mr. Morbido. All right. Well, I did prepare my statement, so. Good evening, my name is Joseph Morbido. My wife, Grace, and I have lived in Wildemar since purchasing our home in Winsong Valley in 2001. I've been active in the community for the last five years, and I'm running because I want to give more complete representation to the residents of Wildemar. In my door-to-door -door campaigning, I've come across many people that want clearer communication from the city to the residents, whether it's things coming, like the name change from Baxter to Central, uh, Baxter Central to Wilmar Trail, or the new bus stop that we have now in the corner of Central and Palomar, or newsworthy things that have happened, like various police actions, including the recent closure of an illegal marijuana dispensary. The people want to know what's happening or what has happened. Uh, reports don't have to be overly detailed if there's an ongoing investigation, but at least the basic information should be shared with the entire city instead of allowing the social media rumor mill to spread the word, often full of errors. Now, my platform includes a monthly e-newsletter, and I pledge to have quarterly town hall meetings. Another key plank in my platform is increased code enforcement to tackle things that make Wilmar look bad. Homeless encampments and graffiti come to mind. Also, the trucks parked near Palomar near Clint and Keith. Uh, I know we're on a shoestring budget, but we need to make room to address uh, issues that cause Wildemar to, to come off as second rate. We need to find the successful measures that other cities are employing and bring them to Wildemar. It can be done. Thank you. Ms. Watson. Good evening. I don't see many faces out there that I don't know, but for the ones that I don't know, my name is Marcia Swanson. I currently serve on council. I am running unopposed, but came tonight because I thought there might, might be some questions or some things about me that you might want to know. I've uh, been a resident of the city of Wildemar for 44 years. My heart, my family, my husband all reside in this area. Uh, one daughter in Arizona, but her job made her go. Otherwise, her heart would be here too. Um, I've served on the MAC before we became a city. I enjoy working with all of you. I am here to represent you, not to make decisions to do what I want to do on my own. Um, on the council, it takes three of us to agree to do anything, to send an e-newsletter, to do anything that's going to cost any money or, or what. It takes three of us. Um, Joseph has some, has some high ideals, very high. They're going to be difficult to do. I'm sorry, <laughs> because I like them. But um, it's not that simple. It's not like I get to decide more code enforcement or more e-newsletters. E it's a joint decision from all of us, but coming up from you and what we can afford to do. We have to look at the budget. When this city was formed, I wasn't sure, even at the time, that it was going to be viable. I wasn't one that was on the WIN committee that was pushing for incorporation, because it was iffy. But I decided if we did incorporate it, I wanted to be here to keep the city on a level playing field and a level track not spending money to go to this convention or that convention or learn something that's not going to help me here. I want to hear from you people. 
And so that's why I am rerunning again to keep us level on an even keel and hear all sides of it. Thank you.